Look at this little fella. Come on, get away. Get away, damn it. Welcome back, everybody, and thank you for joining me for dinner. So, I'm gonna try this little local spot here, right off the Sooks, and this is called Falafel Restaurant and Cafe. And I mean, we're gonna have our first little taste of halal outside of Europe. I mean, we ate so much of it. May as well go on ahead and try it out here. Brugrez, oh baby. So the menu is in French, but it's not gonna be very hard to find. I mean, I can read shawarma in French because it's pretty much exactly the same. So like I mentioned, right here off of Ben Youssef in the Sooks and it's gonna be a wonderful dinner. Streets are kind of dead tonight. I was kind of surprised by it, but I may do. And we'll order, maybe this little food, maybe walk down here, see what's for dessert. All right. I was gonna get the lamb, but when you're eating at Falafel Cafe, I mean, that's the namesake of it. You gotta try their falafel and see how it is. So they had it available in a salad, they had it available in a sandwich, they had it available in a burger. So we've had a few wraps already, we had a few salads, so we're gonna go with burger and see what that's all about. Um, also got a little chocolate milkshake. Very surprised by that one here at this little falafel thing and whatever bottle of water she's gonna bring me. So, I mean, Beautiful night out here tonight, clear sky, you can see the stars. I mean, it's 80 degrees, but I'm telling you now, it is not hot here in Marrakesh. Um, maybe in the summertime, you know, that 100 degrees feels a little bit different, but now it's dry wind. So, food's coming, can't wait to see it. You still got the hustle and bustle a little bit. The mopeds is what comes through. When the crowds dissipate, it's like a NASCAR track. For mopeds. Once again, not seeing any helmets worn here. Um, helmet law be damned. <laughs> there even is one. Like I mentioned, I got the Kawasaki 650 and I am not riding that thing without a helmet. No, sir. Mm -hmm. Surprise, surprise, Morocco. This little delicious milkshake, hopefully. <laughs> Pretty good. And, you know, got your little dining area here with the falafel restaurant. Like anywhere else, I mean, just beautiful molding on the buildings. Maybe I should have eaten inside. You know how pretty it is in there. <laughs> but anyway, back to dinner. Um, another couple of uh, Caucasians sitting over there, so this must be the spot. Um, I don't really see a lot of local people eating at these restaurants, so maybe they're just, you know, here for the tourists, so tourism is slow. I don't know. Maybe these restaurants have to shut down. All right, the burger didn't have any listed toppings on it, so we're gonna try something a little new tonight. I mean, I've tasted it before. I make a damn killer hummus, but not really a big hummus eater and never really eaten it with a combination on another meal. So, falafel burger, chips, and really light, light ketchup. <laughs> so. Also has some tomatoes, onions on it, lettuce, falafel burger in your face. In case you don't know what falafel is, it is a vegetarian vegan dish consisting of chickpeas, oil, and seasonings. I mean, this one is delicious. Really nice bun. I mean, everything I've had here in Morocco has been delicious. I bet you if I get a hot dog from a stand, it's going to be life-changing. But mm, check out the inside of that thing. Mm-hmm. All right. Forgive my full mouth, but we're going to go on ahead, eat our little dinner, and see what the rest of the night has here in beautiful Marrakesh, Morocco. You can see, oh, they had a little rooftop. What? Should have definitely gone up there to eat. Go we'll get a business a little love. The falafel menu. Falafel restaurant and cafe. And it looks like a lot of the sooks are starting to close up now. It's time for the nightlife to happen. You know, the seedier parts of Marrakesh when all the tourists leave the streets. So that's it. I'm gonna go on ahead up here. Just check out the surrounding area. If there's anything else, um, get back with you then. Look at this little fella. Come on, get away. Get away, damn it. So, first wild street dog seen since we left Cairo. <laughs> interesting, very interesting. 
also what's interesting is this little walk back I guess once the lights go out in the city I uh, solicited for hash three times now while Moroccan hash is some of my favorite in the planet and I would love to try it I just don't think buying it off the streets here is the way to go so I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that little adventure for now now, if it was legal here, I'd go for it. But I'm not trying to end up in a Moroccan jail. I don't think that'd go too well for me. <laughs> like I said, did y'all see that guy? That guy was about to get attacked by that dog. That dog was all over him. He had to push him away. I was hoping he'd come up to me. You know, I got that dog whispering in me. Did oh. you guys have fun? Quick little, you know, little dinner out. Just wanted to show a typical Moroccan dinner tonight. And good as it can be. Yeah, I've definitely caught the attention of the local dealers. Follow me around. Just had to just tell the guy, like, dude, seriously. No, no thank you. So... I think we're gonna call it quits there, guys. <laughs> Another fun night out in Marrakesh. Um, just gonna go back to the place, chill out a little bit, work on a few vlogs, and call it a night. So, guys, you know the deal. See the traffic near me, trying to stay safe, and see you on the next one tomorrow. Atlas Mountains, Berber Village. I mean, whew, amazing. Until then, take it easy and peace from Morocco.